fanciful feldicarb fountain flows full as fluttering fairies frolic fastidiously. Flick a farling? Yes or no? Fool, you have no farthing to flick! Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, you get this fey farthing, iron farthing, whatever you want to say. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just mapping. See? Corner! Um. Solid. Okay, no, I'm not gonna channel RP Genie there. Um, yeah. You ha get this thing, the iron farthing, which is fey farthing, because, you know, ferris, it's iron, yeah. Um, and you can get something from flicking it in there. And, you know, the music is a bit louder than I thought it was going to be, which is really annoying. But any further down, and it's like too... Oh, I don't know. I think the songs are trying to kill me or something. I don't know. Um... <laughs> Anyway, so we got a tiny bit of experience for doing that, and it's not enough to get training, I don't think. Yeah, well, not for most of us. Like, I can get training. Oh, boo. Um, yeah, sure, why not? I'll train. Dragons are higher and can't. Sapphire can, that's good. One more point of thievery. Uh, Ishlavi can, and Navinius. You get new spells, and now I get to go over new spells! Navinius. Okay, you get four spells, officially, here. Let me flip my page over. Well, one spell you already had, but whatever. Um, the ones you have are Fly, really got awesome, Invisibility, okay in certain fights, and Web. Uh, the ones you're missing are Acid Stream, which it's like three targets, I think, but it deals pretty good damage for those three targets. Maybe it's only one, I can't remember. And Lightning Bolt, which is going to be our power spell the moment I get it. Basically, it's, uh, it's four targets in melee or non-melee combat, either one, and uh, it it basically it rules all. Well, it costs a bit of SP though, um, and also you notice that Navinius had nine SP there. I think I've gone over this before, but you literally have to rest. Wait, how much food do I have? Ten. Now, okay. Um, but now Navinius has 35 SP. How much does Simmons have? 40, because Seneset is more awesome than you. <laughs> uh, no, it's the hero medal doing it. And since SP actually does get recalculated on the fly, makes it kind of interesting. Anyways, um... Oh yeah, and the other thing I did after after rescuing them was I did one more Norden quest to get a little bit more experience for everybody. Kind of jumpstart dragons are higher in a bit. Because um, like I said, you can repeat that quest as many times as you want. Um... Not a whole lot more you can do here. I think I've showed off green ticket battles once before, maybe. Um, yes, I have, because I can just tell by looking at my map. Um, what else is there? There's, uh... I can go on and show off a bunch of different towns if I want to. Or we can go outside. Yes, we'll leave the city gates. Why not? Suddenly the protection checkerboard turns red. If I move one step north... While it says it's a guardian pegasus... Yeah, I guess it would be. I don't know why I got them confused. I sometimes get pegasuses and unicorns confused. But yeah. Greetings, I'm your guardian pegasus. Welcome to the outer world of Kron. Beyond these town walls lie dangers and wonders. Should you discover my name, I will help you once per year. Yeah, yeah, help you once per year. Somehow, I'm getting the next line confused. Seek me out in the ice tundra. And then, he, she, it is gone. Oh, Castle of Pinehurst. That way. Volcania. That way. It says tundra and woodhaven, but we're turning this direction. Into the trees we go, because there's something here. Korax Cave. Now, of course, we saw the ghost of Korak in the first episode. There's darkness here. Hang on. Let me use my lantern. I forgot to sell all my junk. One way out? Or only way out? Take it? No, because I'm moving through. There's a chamber here. Obviously. Yeah. Very revealing auto map. Uh, there's a chamber here, and if we move one more step... An ingenious sorcerer named Lloyd tells the tale of his great invention, a beacon spell. It's been real useful for me. Now it will aid you as well. Yeah most important spell you're ever going to get. Uh, and also, we get a hint here for finding Red Duke and Deadeye in Ambush Valley. Yeah, we're not going to be rescuing those guys anytime soon. 
Now, this first area up here in, uh, in Korax Cave is actually somewhat easier. Um, it's full of undead. That's the thing. And so, a couple castings of Turn Undead. Why are there mini Rexes? Oh, I don't know. I don't care. I don't... Whatever. It doesn't matter to me. We're just gonna kill things. Well, maybe kill things. Senaset, do a wonder. Yay, we eradicated one ghoul for the price of one SP. Not that it matters. They don't have anything. I don't think anybody's in worse condition now. Okay, yeah. There are undead. I'm not going to worry about them. We're going the only way out. Yay. Um, I missed my exit there. Okay, yeah. There's all kinds of different things that you can find in the overworld here. There is a path. Actually, I'll show you. Casting, what was it, 2-1? for Eagle Eye, and there. Now we have Eagle Eye in the top corner for, like, the next 17 steps or so. Um, not a whole lot. There's a bunch of orcs this direction. And it leads up to a combat with a mutant swine, or, like, two or three mutant swines or something like that. Um, the circus can sometimes be found here. Oh, yeah. Green message three. We'll be finding these messages all over the place. It's, uh... Eh, it's n nothing to be too overly concerned about. They give hints for the entire game, and in fact, you're supposed to put them together as you go along. There's four green messages. Oh, see, look, Eagle Eye went away. Great. Um, there's four green messages in all, and there's actually a hint in, uh, in Middlegate Cavern for putting them in order and getting the proper things together. And I'll go over those in, after a little while. I'm going to find methods of writing these things down. Uh, unlike RPG Neum, because this is a DOS game, it's running in DOS box, of course, and that means it's not, uh, it's not uh, something I full screen. It's just kind of sitting there. And of course I'm using Cam Studio because, you know, Fraps doesn't work with this. I, it's not a direct 3D application. So, yeah. Blame fraps. Um, oh yeah, let me go to the closer blacksmith. It doesn't matter which one you sell to. They all give the same rates. This isn't Might and Magic 6, you know. <laughs> Let's see. We want to keep our two lanterns, but the rest of everything. Like I said, there was an argument for the longbow. There's an argument for keeping the force potion, but I want money. So. And moving on. Let's see. What was it, E? Yeah. Um, small... Yeah, there, we're not going to get a whole lot of money for all these. Okay. Let's see, let's share our gold, because we can. Oh, I should mention that if you look at... Well, let's see. Quick check. Well, because we cast the... Uh, power Cure the one time... Senna said is down one gem in comparison to most everybody else. The gems are only useful to spellcasters. Alright, we're going to Sansabar, and hey look, we're already there. This is a slightly more dangerous town if we run into any encounters, you know. Um, but right here is the Wizard's Eye. The Beggar's Gift, and you come in here, and you say yes, and he'll teach you Wizard Eye just some guy who says, give me money, I want, I'll teach you a spell, or something like that. There's some, uh, there's some useless things right here. And, uh, I don't remember if there was a shop 